Back live inside the courthouse in Washington County in Fort Edward, where a jury took less than two hours to find Kevin Monaghan guilty of murder in the second degree, reckless endangerment, and tampering with physical evidence. Uh, the jury of seven men and five women began deliberating at about 2.30 this afternoon, and then at about 4.20, the note came that there had been a verdict. Kevin Monaghan guilty of murder in the second degree in the April 15, 2023, shooting and killing of Kaylin Gillis on his driveway in Hebron, Washington County, off Patterson Hill Road. We are waiting to hear from the defense and the prosecution in this case. People have begun to gather in the basement here, which is the jury assembly room. Uh, people have cleared out of the courtroom now. Kurt Mosser, could I, could I bother you for one minute? What, one minute. What, okay, one minute. We'll walk with you if you don't mind. Kurt, okay. We're, we, are, we are actually live on the air right now, Kurt. So we're going to, uh, if you don't mind, I appreciate your time. I know this is probably not an easy time, but Kurt Mossert is uh, one of the attorneys for Kevin Monaghan, kind enough to talk to us live for a moment. What was your reaction when the verdict came in? Well, whenever there's a fast verdict like that, it's usually not good for the defense. So when we got this, the note, that's Court Exhibit 12, saying they had a verdict, Art and I knew that um, it wasn't going to be a good result for, for Kevin Monaghan. Um, I'm disappointed, obviously. Uh, I mean, this is Kate. This is a case that's been a tragedy from any perspective. Uh, obviously, especially for the Gillis family. And and you know, I, I'm not trying to patronize them when I say that our hearts go out to them. Um, I you know, I lost a brother to violent crime when I was when I was a kid. Uh, I have some idea of what that that's like. I can't imagine losing a child. Um, but you know, the jury did its job the, the best way they they, they saw how. Um, there are lots of errors in this trial. There's lots of grounds for appeal. Um, but I, I don't want to focus on that right now. The Gillis family deserves a break from litigation and from this. And they need some time to heal and just sit with this. I'm sure that to whatever degree they can be, there's a comfort to them for, the, for this. But then, you know, there's my client who I sincerely believe did not act with depraved indifference. What do you feel that this case turned on? Your, your client admitted under oath that he did lie to a, the police, the responding police, and to the dispatcher. Do you feel the jury wasn't able to discern between when he was telling the truth and when he was not? Well, the, the problem that you have in a case like this is when the, when the police surround your house and they roll up in an armored vehicle, and I don't think anybody's at their best. And under those circumstances. And so Mr. Monaghan said some things that he admitted on the stand weren't true, and I'm sure that came back to haunt him uh, in the people's closing argument. Uh, but the real issue here is the firearm. Um, long guns don't have the kind of internal safeties that handguns have. And the real issue is no one was on that deck except Mr. Monaghan. He was the only one who can tell us what happened as he stumbled on that deck and his firearm hit the hit the railing. Um, and he told us. And his testimony was corroborated by the state police lab technician. And that's what... Your co-counsel, your, your yeah. co-counsel, Arthur Frost, yeah. is kind enough to join us for a moment. Uh, I'm sorry about the result you've gotten today, Mr. Frost, but what, uh, what was your reaction when the verdict was read? Disappointment. It's hard not to be. We've we've invested months and months of our time into Kevin's defense, um, and we respect the jury's verdict. We disagree with it, but we respect it. That's that's what our process is. Um, there will be an appeal, of course. Um, I guess uh, the what I would say to conclude. I, I wish the Gillis family as much peace as possible. No you, matter no matter what happens, there's not a happy ending here. Uh, your co-counsel was saying that as well, that uh, we can't imagine the grief that they've endured, and this provides some sort of punctuation to that grief. Perhaps it's some sort of relief. Is that your hope as well? My hope is they get some relief. I don't know if they ever will. Um, it's, it's a devastating loss no matter how it happens, no matter what the verdict was. It's a devastating loss. In a lot of ways, there's no way to recover from it. You and your co-counsel uh, have called for a mistrial on numerous occasions here. Uh, if, as you stand here today, what do you see as the number one chief reason for appeal? I'm going to leave that to the appellate attorneys. But there most definitely will be an appeal. Without question. All right. Arthur Frost, Kurt Mosser, is there anything either of you would like to add related to this verdict? No. No. no thank you. Kurt, thank you. And thank you for your coverage and your concern.